You see trends going in the last quarter of the year. It's a renewable car and we see the it's going to be the companies should be looking for are trends that are changing. I know certain companies are coming with a smaller physician network. So they're coming with different narrow networks to reduce costs. What do you see trends coming in 2025? So I haven't heard of anything that the narrow network concept has just gotten a lot of traction. And I think the Blue Cross has probably done the best job with the Ovidity network. It's amazing. So we've actually had a lot of clients move over to that. They've been able to save money and get really amazing care which always makes us feel good because we're providing value and I have feel it. For 2025, I'm not hearing of any major network changes other than building on what they currently have in, in place. Do you see any new plans or strategies that companies should be aware of? There may not be taking advantage of. Maybe it's companies in the past are paying for the full cost of, for healthcare for their employees and it's not affordable anymore and now they're cutting back or do you see any of the strategies that, that companies can be put in place FSA? Yeah, interesting enough as everything continues to go up, the costs of living, benefits have been increasing. I've actually had more employers increase their contribution than reduce their contribution in the last couple of years because Retaining those employees has become that much more important and they had to increase their budget. I think that is going to continue. We're going to see employers keeping their contribution the same or maybe even increasing, maybe strategizing tiers, managers and above. Maybe they start paying for dependents when they weren't just as a retention idea.